Welcome to see you here again. In this part, we will discuss the most important chemical and physical parameters of water. Let's start and elaborate more and understand these basic physical and chemical properties. First, as you know, water is a colorless, odorless, and also tasteless liquid. It's one of the main things we need for our lives, for our body, for uh, even for other other species living here in this planet. They need water like animals, plants, and others. So water is something crucial for our life. That's why it's important to know their properties. Always water is one of the best and it's excellent polar solvent. It has a high dielectric constant of 80.1 at 20 degrees Celsius. That means it's able to dissolve ionic salts like sodium chloride and many other salts as well as polar organic compounds. There is one very important point I want to discuss it with you. How much the boiling point of water? If you told me the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, this is a short answer. And for scientists, we can say that it's incorrect or incomplete. But the best answer to say that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure. Keep that fact in mind because as you may know that when we have the atmospheric pressure, when we have a vacuum system where which is under the, or less than one bar, the boiling point of water will go down as well. So always there is a fact here, keep it in your mind. When we have higher pressure, the boiling point of water will increase and we have lower pressure going towards more and more vacuum the boiling point of water is going down from 100 degrees Celsius till, point, uh, till 70, 60, 55 and so on. What's the importance of that fact? The importance of that fact, we use it for desalination applications, especially thermal desalination applications, because some of these systems are operating under vacuum conditions. That means the boiling point of water will be less than one bar, one atmospheric pressure. Also, there is another fact which is related to water density. Water density is one gram per mil at four degrees Celsius. It's not at 20 or 25 degrees Celsius. Keep that fact in mind because the water density is highly affected with the temperature. Okay, so when we have, as we can see in the coming slides, when we have higher temperature, the density will be changed comparing with low temperature. So density of water is related to temperature. The same will be applied when we discuss pH and conductivity and others, okay? But if you want to be accurate, we would say that the water density is 0 0.9998 at 4 degrees Celsius, which is 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit. I kept you here a link, so you can click that link and you can elaborate about the basic information and properties of water. As you all of you know that the chemical structure of water is H2O. That means we have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. And the angle between hydrogen and oxygen and hydrogen is 104.45 degree. Keep that one in mind because it's different than other compounds which has close chemical structure comparing to water. Here you can see the, how water molecules will attract to each other. Especially there is a special type of bonding exists in between water molecules, which we call it hydrogen bonding. Like here between this oxygen atom and this hydrogen atom, such bonding we call it hydrogen bonding. Keep that one fact in mind because this is one of the unique properties of water that it has hydrogen bonding between water molecule. And as we discussed here, the boiling point of water is highly connected with the temperature and the, with the pressure applied on that water. For example, here, as we can see, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius at 100 kilo, K Pascal, 
which is exactly at one atmosphere so when we when when the boiling point goes down here that means we have the pressure is going down toward more vacuum like 0.9 bar or atmosphere 0.8 atmosphere 0.5 atmosphere and so on okay so, till we reach zero which is the freezing point of water so freezing point of water is is zero at again a specific pressure keep that point in mind because always pressure and temperature are attached with each other when we discuss about the boiling and freezing point of water here we have different physical and chemical properties of water i can't discuss all these things because some of them related to deep chemistry some of them related to the physics some some others related to the engineering but i can discuss in general about these parameters as you know the specific gravity we call it sg at 20 degrees celsius of water is around 0.998 Keep that one in mind. The melting point of water is zero, but at one atmospheric pressure, again, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure. And those two parameters are subjected to, uh, to the applied pressure. The vapor pressure of water is 17.5 mm. Uh, mercury and the viscosity of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 1.009 CP uh, the specific heat of water at 0 degrees Celsius is around 1.007 at calorie per uh, Celsius or per temperature unit uh, of course the ion product of water which we call it KW is 1 multiplied 10 to power minus 14 unit list at 25 degrees Celsius this is a very important parameter which is related to pH of water. We will discuss it later and see the relationship between KW or ion product of water and, and the pH of that water. And finally, the density of water at 100 degrees Celsius is 0.958 gram per mil. There are many other parameters like surface tension, like heat of vaporization, heat of fusion, but I keep it for the other parts and for those people who want to elaborate more and more, just you can write this parameter on the YouTube and you can understand more things related to these parameters. But these parameters are very, very, very important, especially when we want to discuss about cooling systems, some of them important when we discuss drinking water properties, some of them important when we discuss desalination uh, technologies and others. Here simply we will discuss about two cases. The first one, the boiling point of water as uh, according to the pressure you know here and as you can see the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius at one bar and it's gonna go down when the temp when the pressure is going toward more vacuum so we'll, instead of one bar or one atmospheric we can go down 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.2 the boiling point is going down and as well as if we have a water body or water system under pressure under two three four bars the boiling point of that water will increase as well on the other side we can see here in this graph which is a, a relationship between water density and temperature as you know as when the temperature increases the density of water decreases we said that the highest density of water at four degrees celsius but when the temperature increases the density of water is going down and down and down higher temperature lower density keep that point in mind these are basic parameters physical and chemical properties of water i hope they were clear and they're supposed to be clear because most of us have came across these properties whether in high school in our activities in our daily activity operations and um, from different sources let's start to discuss the parameters one by one 